Alrighty, so this is a huge stack of mess, but believe it or not, I know exactly what I'm talking about here. Huh. Okay, so I have some black stays on ink. I have a stamp block and a stamp that says adventure. This stamp I rinsed because it looked like it wasn't, it's not very sticky anymore. Um, but I want it to say adventure. And this is just a block. I have no idea. The block is stamping up, but I don't know about that stamp. I have this pack of 6x6 Botanical Gardens Vellum from Stampin' Up. It's an older pack, but I want vellum. I'm not sure which vellum I'm going to select. I have this clip, which I had gotten probably from Joanne. I think it's so pretty. I have some acetate that goes through like a photocopy machine. That's what this is for. But uh, yeah, years ago, years ago, I bought a box of this for my classroom to use on the overhead projector. And um, yeah, when overhead projectors were dead or done, I brought it home to use for my crafting since I bought it for, my, for myself. So I'm gonna use that for acetate. I have this sheet of six by six paper from Stampin' Up. And this sheet, which is a map pack from somewhere. These sheets, this is a current sheet from Stampin' Up. This is 12 by 12. Um, and that, that's current. And this is an old beach sheet from Stampin' Up. I've got my envelope punch board, which makes great tabs. You can get it from We Are Memory Keepers. I bought mine from Stampin' Up. I have a 12 inch trimmer. I have this little stick from the Mambi Sticks. I already made myself and tested out one of my file folder dividers that I'm gonna make. And I have this from the Mambi Sticks as well. And this one, which I plan to use. Um, so let's bake some stuff. It has to be four and an eighth. So four and an eighth. I kind of like that this is reinforced. I'm tempted. Oh, because I could put washi here. You know what? Hold the phone. I could put washi here. Let me find a washi I love. And that would be this. It didn't only take me a second to grab it. There are a couple of washi that I absolutely, positively adore. And this is one of them. It's from Simply Gilded. And it was in the peach box. So I'm gonna lay it right along this whole length. There you have that. I think I'm gonna put it on this side too. Why not? Or you know what I should do on this side? Put the other one that I love, which is this one. I think this one was in the Lullaby Moon. It's also got that complete glitter all over it and it's just so soft. So I'm just gonna lay it down. off and cut this off. I went a little over, but I'm not that worried. This will be the part that gets punched. So I have to go over four and an eighth. Cut off that extra by five and seven eighths. So four eighths is a half, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. I think this one's gonna be too small. It is. Okay, well, I washied. Maybe I could use this in like my personal, I don't know. I'll just have, 
fold it off to the side. So this is all the bigger the paper is. What makes me nervous is I don't have the inserts and suppose I do this wrong. It just makes me nervous. I hauled this on a recent video. Um, it is the Sunlit Punch and I have it set for A6. You just move the guys inside there. And I have this bar butted to A6 so that if you insert your paper and you butt your page, your paper up here, it will be correct. And there it is, isn't that pretty? And that way I have a piece of acetate. Oh, I love it. And that's how it will look on this side. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so I needed a piece and I wanted to put Love My Planner on it. Do I want that on this one? I was thinking of, I like this one just being kind of plain and feminine. I don't know that I want to put Love My Planner on that piece. Hold it. Where'd I pull this from? Right here. So that's okay, I have more. So I knock everything over. Let's do four and an eighth. And then five and seven eighths, which is, this is four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. But I can only get one out of there. And then this is an extra. So if I place this, Hmm. And let's do my Love My Planner. I want it at the bottom corner. I laid it slightly crooked. And that's how it's going to have to be. I feel like I want something fun on this one. I have this cherry washi that came in this Heidi Swap. I feel like the cherries will be fun. So let's do down one side and down the other. going a little off kilter over here. I like the idea of putting it on both sides because um, when I was just punching stickers in my Happy Planner Punch, the stickiness of the stickers and the washi messed up my punch and I don't like that. It's funny now and that bothers me. So slip this guy in punch him. That's fun. Hmm. I don't know that the cherries really go with a love by planner. Honestly. Okay. So this will be like one of my first sheets. And then I have that one. Now for, I want to do a winter one. So I have this 
I need to make it five and seven eighths. There we go. Okay. And I'm putting this girl on there. These girls on their sled, sled riding. and oh no dang it that really irritates me I'm saving that because I think I'm gonna do a little bit of um washi here this is snowflake washi also from simply gilded and I think it matches well there we go Again, put it on this side. Now, how am I going to feel about having the back of this sticker show? I don't know. And I need to put the sled runner down. And I've got lots of extra to cut off. So there's the winter one. I love this one. It's wonderful. I feel like I need, Happy Planner Mom has a couple of, um, Happy Planner Mom, <laughs> Coffee Planner Mom has some stickers I could put there. All right, so I have one for January, and then I plan to use these others later. Like I'll have the spring one in the spring, and then I'll have the summer one in the summer. Hold it. Wouldn't that be beautiful right there? It would be, or even just that. I love that peonies, please. I didn't mean to do this, but it's gonna happen, even though it's wintry. Okay, that's where it's going. It was a little high, but that's all right. And I have one little teeny, eeny, weeny bit. Do I put this one over here on the back just to be pretty or is that going to be weird? this on it. Yep, I just stuck that down. Okay, so anyway, okay, so I just made that one. <laughs> I love this, but I think it'll wait until next year. So yeah, so then those will be Christmas and winter, and that will be fall for next year. And I have these summer ones for later. I was thinking about this one. I like Mate to be Amazing, but I think he's too big. I also like the Anne Breathe. That would be good for exercise because, huh, planner's got a plan. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Mmm, love those. I wouldn't mind making like a workout one for my exercise. I might have to go down and get more, you know, like a work schedule one, except my work schedule's every day, but I like the exercise one. So let me cut this. And put that little guy down. He's cute. He could have gone a little lower. I feel like I would like a sticker across here. 
how about and breathe? Nah. How about not the plant? I do good vibes? No. How about it's okay? Nah. I do want to sing though. I'll just have to find it as I go. It's just not going to be on this one. And Washi is always a good answer, I think. I really do. I like the idea of putting washi on there. So I'm going to hold off on this guy because... Did I just cut him? I did, and I set him to the side. So I need four and an eighth. Let's flip him over. Just in case he's not perfectly straight at the bottom. And I need, I don't know where that little piece went. And I need five and seven eighths. Right here. Maybe the other little bit. Okay, so on this guy, I like the idea of good vibes. I'm not gonna fit a whole girl. I'm almost gonna fit those girls that are working out. And I could put and breathe. A running girl and I could do the and breathe I like these girls better for exercise yeah yes girl all right can I do this girl and the yeah yes girl Put her on the edge. Will she still look like she's exercising? Cut off some of her hair. All right, let's take my exercise, babe. before I stick her to myself. Okay. Do I want and breathe? No, I want yeah, yes, girl. There's my workout, my exercise one. Okay, good. All right, now, I'm going to have um, like a cleaning section. I would like to do the plants. I think that plant is pretty. Where is... Here's the one that I wasn't done with, this one. Can I put that up there? 
with it. I don't know. All right, so I think I have to run downstairs and get more of that acetate because I'm having way too much fun making acetate dividers. So let me go get some more and I'll be right back. Ace. By five and seven eighths. Now, I know I have a cleaning section and I like the idea of putting this house plant here. I have this plant washi. Ooh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? It actually um, has a paper backing. So I think it's called planter tape, but you get the gist. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby in a two pack. And I'm gonna stand up so I can do this. And I see my battery is yelling at me that it is about to die. So now I gotta go get my cord. I think in the process of plugging myself in, I moved the camera, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, all right, so I'm gonna tear another piece off because I like it on the front and the back. I know I did um, a cleaning one, a cleaning insert. So I like the idea of the house plants because it's kind of housey and homey. I actually don't have a lot of plants. I have some, but, um, and I do try to remember to water them on Mondays. Here comes my cat. Surely does not belong in here. She's so naughty. All right, I want this plant, right? Or do I want this one? I think this succulent's gonna be better. I actually have a mother-in-law's tongue. My husband's grandma gave it to us when we got married, and that is perfect. I love that. Perfection. That'll be good for plants. Okay, so um, I've got my house, and I've got my exercise, and this is going to be for the monthly, and then this is just for fun on the top. This is just to be pretty because I love it, and I made this one. I wish that was down farther. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. So, and I also have a book. I have one for reading. Maybe this is the one I will do for reading. And, yeah. Although I know those are planning girls. That could be a reading one, couldn't it? can be whatever I want it to be. I like her. And I have books. I have a set in brown and I think I have a set in pink and I'm doing the pink the pink ones and this will be my reading and I'm gonna get a sticker that says read so again this is simply gilded I may have actually bought this one separately. Although it could have come in a sub box. I don't remember. This is just entirely too fun. I could sit here all day and make these. Um, and I might sit here and make them because it's cold and snowy. And I'm just gonna take this sticker that says read. And uh, my husband and I did go outside. We went for a three mile walk. I have this one. 
I like that you can kind of see that girl through. Oh, that would have been perfect without that sticker. I wonder if I can take that off with undo. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it. There we go, punched and ready. All right, let's move on to something different and I can play around with these later. The thing I wanna move along to to be different are the tabs. So I might have the acetate, but then I'm gonna want a tab so I know where my month is, I know where my week is, and then I'm gonna need a tab for each of my different inserts. So I purposely picked this one because I figured I was starting this uh, planner in January. So I wanted a monthly tab for January um, and then all its like little weekly parts. And I love this paper. I think it's beautiful. So in order to get this tab to stick out, I added a half inch to my four and an eighth. So Um, I like the pond, so I'm going to go four and a half, and then I need an eighth. And it will take me to the edge of the pond. And then I need a five and seven eighths. I like the mountains too. So we'll have the mountains and the pond. That's kind of fun. Um, that's cute because of the snowman. But I think I'd rather take a little off the top here. And then do the four and a half plus an four and a half plus an eighth. I like the idea of this road. And then five and seven eighths. Again, I think I actually want to take another little bit off the top here. It's just a random cut there. And then five and seven eighths would be here. Hmm. That's kind of fun. All right. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. And while I'm cut, I'm just gonna cut all my paper. So this one's gonna be for my travel. So I want my four and a half, and then I need my eighth. And then I need my five and seven eighths. And this is just gonna be my travel. And I actually have like a, a journaling section and I think that beach is really pretty. I should get another piece for journaling. I might, I might do this one also for journaling because I think it's so pretty. It's like my favorite. Okay. Although I was thinking I would do this for travel. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to have an extra. It's all right to have an extra. All right. So because this got messed up, I'm thinking I'm going to come over here to four and a half and then my eighth. Except it's going to cut off. Yeah, I don't want to lose. No, nope, I'm going to keep it this way. Four and a half and my eighth. And then five and seven eighths. This is almost, we'll just chop it, whoops. Oh, gosh, I hate it when my cutter needs to be replaced. So sometimes it grabs the paper and makes it crap. And not only does it wreck the paper right there, but it kills my fingernail. I'm gonna rip my own finger now, right off. All right, so let's do six and an eighth. Cause you're just cutting off like 
this little itty bitty bit. Four and a half and an eighth. All right. So there's some file folders. Um, I, I'm sure I'm gonna need more of those, but for now that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all my extra of this paper, scooch it out of the way. Now then. The first tab I'm gonna wanna see is my month slash, you know, where I'm at currently. My right, where am I? I'm right here type of a deal. So that's why I made this punch here. I think the next one down, I'm tempted to glue these together. That way. Well, I don't think I'm gonna use this one. So I think what I'm gonna do is start at the two inch and punch and then come to the three inch where this little punch starts and punch again. Because that way, if I cut this off and that off, I'll have a middle tab. And then to cut those two off, I'm going to line the deepest part into the track and just cut. And actually I can go down just a hair more. I won't do that with this side, but there we go. And there's a tab. And then I'm gonna punch it. Ta-da! So then I have like a top tab, and then I have a middle tab. And now I'm gonna want a bottom tab. So again, this time though, hmm. Maybe we'll do, let's see. So the January and the weekly, I don't know, crash. Um, then I think I'll do like this one. So I want the tab here at the bottom. Since I want the tab at the bottom, I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm just gonna punch here at the one inch and then I'm gonna bring my guy up to the two inch. And that will bring me a little bit closer to the bottom. Not like super close to the bottom, but fairly close to the bottom. And I'll cut that bit off and the top bit off. And then that way I have sort of at the bottom tab. I might actually make this tab a tiny bit smaller. He's, he's a little bit wider than I need him to be. this guy in just a tiny bit. There we go. And then um, shore him up a bit. Just a titch. It's going to be stupid. There we go. There. All right, good. Okay, so let's do the travel one back at the top. And I think I'm just gonna do it at two inches. And then that way, I have a total left. That'll be good. Let me find all my tabs. And punch this one. So it goes like, this and punch this one. Yeah. So then I have my travel. That'll be good. I need one way at the bottom. All right. So to put this guy all the way at the bottom, I'm going to flip him upside down. I'm just gonna punch him at the two. And then I'm gonna put this in my thing and go like that. 
so how's that that looks good all right so what I want to do is round this corner I'm just gonna round it a little corner rounder there this is already rounded, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I do want to round this guy, especially since he got a little eaten up by my punch. And that took care of that tear. And this guy needs a punch. Oh, I love it. This is just way too fantastic. I clean all my cutters and things. Yeah. So... Now I need to do, and these papers are double-sided, so I can enjoy both sides, is, and this one, um, is label them. I thought about putting a little um, sticker and then labeling dark colors from Coffee Planner Mom. These are her quarter boxes, and I think they're gonna fit in perfectly. Um, and what I'm going to do is take my calligrapher in 1.0 and just very neatly, I'm going to write in this dark one for that, I'm going to write weekly. There we go. I'm going to add that to the very top here. And I feel like I need to put it on the back as well. And that went over a hair. So I'm just going to snip it. Love it. Okay, now for this tab, this actually was supposed to be the month. Maybe we could go like this. What color? I think the gray. And I actually want the word January in there, which I could letter, but I have plenty of words. I'd prefer cursive, but I don't want pink. Do I? I like pink. Let's see, pink or black? Is that it? Yeah, pink or black. Well, will this fit? Do I like it? I do. All right. All right, so I have January, I have weekly. Super. I think I want this one to be cleaning. Let's see what colors. I think there's like a, a red. Yes. In the classic Christmas, I like the red, I think. Yeah. To make sure. Oh, never mind. I like it in the bright. And I'm going to write cleaning. And then I have this one, which I really love. And this is travel. And I think I'm going to use 
um, maybe I'll use the light brown. just a titch. I love it. And then this guy is going to be journal. He should get the blue, I think. So all of those were boxes from Coffee Planner Mom, and those were her quarter boxes. Yeah, so let's team up. These guys with these guys. Oh, I don't have my read. How about it? I need one for reading. Let's make a list. So, I need a divider for read. But I have the acetate. So I'm all set there. Um, this is going to be January. So that goes there. Weekly. I don't know. I might need a weekly one. So acetate for a January weekly because burr. Okay, cleaning is going to be this one because it's the house. And doesn't that work out? I like it. Travels. Hmm. I want one that says adventure. That's why I brought this up. So I need to make that. We'll do that. In, you know what? Let's write it down. The adventure. And we'll make it in a moment. And then the journal. Oh, that's the read. No, it's not. I need one for journal. How about peonies, please? Since it's my favorite. Okay. And then, actually, that should say beach, huh? Maybe I'll make a beach one. And I have acetate, but need a divider for exercise. And I have acetate for read, but I need a divider for my reading journal. Okay, so I need to go find paper for those two. But let's make the acetate for the adventure. This is probably going to be somewhere in the front. Because I like love my planner, but I'm not liking the cherries. Hmm, I might have to somehow figure that, re refigure that one. All right, so let's do this piece. And I want it at five and seven eighths. So that'll be here. That's extra. And I'm going to get the stays on. Make sure it's well inked. And I'm going to type. I'm going to make. Let's put this guy here on the line so I can see where I'm at. Let's do adventure. Oh, I was afraid of that. This 
particular stamp is kind of done. All right, we're gonna give him a minute to dry. I actually have washi. It's not very thick, so maybe we'll put the airplane washi with something like this. I haven't opened it yet. So I don't know about you, but since it's, you know, the new year, I've been kind of quote unquote cleaning out my um, Instagram and um, YouTube and that kind of thing. So if you have an Instagram account, leave a comment below with your Instagram name so I can follow you. Well, so that we all can follow you. That is crooked. So this is another Simply Gilded um, washi. So let's lay this down. I guess it's not crooked, maybe my eye's crooked. And let's lay it down again, shall we? <laughs> that was funny. We're not gonna stick or what are we doing here? What are we doing here, washi? I have some on my finger. There we go. Put it this way. So let's see. What was this for? This is for travel. Which goes, look at that. That's gonna be pretty, huh? That's fabulous. So I have January, I need acetate. For the weekly, ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. I have this simply kilted washi, which is gorgeous. It's purple, but I, oh man, I don't know why it does that. I think the purple with this blue is gonna be just fine. Let's see. Yeah, I think it will be. So let's get another piece of acetate and let's just lay this out. I definitely want to see that pond. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Isn't that pretty? So there's the weekly. That's good. All right, so. I just did the weekly and I did adventure. I'm looking for something for beach acetate. And I have this peach of acetate here. And I was thinking of making a beach one for my journal. So I know just the washi. It's gonna be this washi, also from Simply Gilded and it is shells. For my journal. Oh, I love this. Yes. You know, I, I have to tell you, just, I don't know if you're papery and creative, but I am, and that is beautiful. This is completely fulfilling my need for craftiness, I just have to say. All right, so I got that. I have to go downstairs and look for some exercise paper and some reading paper, and I will show you what I need to show you. Um, these are both Stampin' Up! papers. This is a coffee paper, and this one is, I don't know what it was, but I love those little dandelion things. So, um, I'm gonna make the dividers. I think you've watched me make several and are probably totally done with that. So let's see, four and a half. Reading. Oh, that looks good. 
and she's going to go before cleaning. Nice. And now this one, which is, oh, that was supposed to be Reed. Durr. Gail, you're so dumb. This is supposed to be exercise. <laughs> Take two. Except that really looked good, didn't it? It really did. exercise. I could use the back of that for exercise. Oops, let's punch it with my yeah yeah scroll. And where is that going? So monthly, weekly. I think I'm going to do at the top again. No, I'm not done. I still need to pick out vellums. Foils are pretty. This, I think, will be good for, yeah, this one is gonna be for my snow. four and an eighth by five and seven eighths. And we'll punch the sky. So here's winter. Oh, that's perfect for the weekly. Love it. That's for January. And now something for weekly. I think it needs to kind of look snowy-ish. I think I'll use these dots. Now, do you have to have vellum and acetate and all that? No. There's no hard and fast rule. But, like I said, I, um, I'm loving my creative side, and I have these supplies. So, there's my weekly. I'm tempted to put that followed by that this time. Because I really want to see that. Exercise. I really like this one. I'm going to do this one for an eighth. at the bottom. So here we go. I think we'll do exercise like that. Read. I don't know that I want to cover it. I think I like it just the way it is. I think I like cleaning and I love adventure, but could I Put this is my favorite one. This one might go with my journal because, like I said, it's my favorite. One and eighth. There we go. Um, do I want to cover? I don't. Too wide? No. Is it? That one is. Are they all? Hold it. Yeah. I mismarked this one. Oh, I know why. This was the second piece. I never cut it. So, four and an eighth. There we go. That's better. So, I want to do that. Nope. I like it that way, but I think 
I might, am I gonna do it for my journal? Yeah. Vellum on top. Yeah, all right, got it. So here's my planner. Oh. So when they come, I'm gonna have my journal pages here. That'll be like my current gratitude and our travel, which actually I might have to flip, but we'll see. And then I have my cleaning. Look at that. And this is for my reading journal. That one looks a little off too. I don't think I cut that one properly. Exercise. Yeah, he's going to be a little long. I might have to redo him. Yeah, yes, girl. And then my weekly inserts. And my month. So I can flip back and see. Now, do I want to like that? I do like that. Or like this, maybe like that. And then I think I'm gonna put my planner in the front. I'm not sure where Peonies Please is gonna go. I wanna be able to see it. I'm not sure about him. So that's exciting. I do want to use, I think these guys are neat. And I think they're pretty. You know, you put things on them. I like that glitter. I honestly do not know what is going to go where, to be frank. I just like the sparkle. I don't know if I'm going to use the green one. And this is going to go in wherever I am that moment. I think, and there'll be more of that for sure, for sure. I have these things also. So for January, I don't want that. Mm, that's pretty. See, and these would be perfect just to punch I like that fresh, simple, and clean. Nope, not gonna do that. Mm, I like Dare to be Dazzling. Especially for back here because you could see it. Dare to be Dazzling. And then I need the purple one. I wasn't gonna use the purple one, but. No, he's green, he's not purple. I like dazzling. This one's purple. I could put this one in the back, but I wanna see it. Dare to be dazzling. Maybe he goes back here. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, there's that. It could be Jemmy. That's kind of pretty. Because that's kind of dazzling, isn't it? I'm not really into the gems. I think it kind of detracts from it. Nap time. I love this one. 
me poke. Oh yes. This for sure. Always. That's gotta go up front. That has to go like that. I know that's not January, but that's okay. I don't have to have everything be January, right? Right. <laughs> I like what the heck. What the heck? That's my story of my life. <laughs> I like this pocket. Oh, I could put a pocket behind something that's going to stay. Like, for example, my reed is going to stay. So like, I could put a pocket there. Cleaning is going to stay. Is gonna stay too. I like the idea of putting a pocket, but I don't want this stuff to fall out. And I feel like these are not wide enough to do that with. Hmm. Where's my other little pocket? See this little bee? He's cute. And I thought about putting him somewhere. Like what would happen? Would I regret it? How is he even attached? I suppose I put him here. I just did it. Oh my gosh. He also is a Simply Gilded, but I can't help it, I love him. And that way that can go there, but maybe instead, maybe instead, maybe, no. Oh, that one's pretty. I take one of these. And it gets okay sticker. Here's a question. Can you punch this? Suppose I did. Suppose I punched this, but I want it to stand up. Where's my journal? I think I'm gonna do the It's Okay as my journal bookmark. Okay, good. All right, and I'm tempted. I wanna do take a deep breath. And I think I'm gonna do 
what the heck, and take a deep breath for these because I think they're funny. I wish there was a way to put them in the middle. There like isn't. Okay, all right, the other thing that I have is this divider that I thought was really pretty. So I wanna see if I can cut it to be Also like this one and it is definitely going to be bright. I think I'm gonna do this. I want this with no I want this with clean and I want this Exercise. Whoops. That girl is read. That's exercise. All right. Last is charms. This is actually a bracelet. It says, I wish to be the fairest of them all. Um, and I got it from Disney. And I think if I put a knot in the top. Then I can put it here in my exercise, wherever I'm at. Good. This is a charm bracelet. That's actually not the greatest thing ever. You can see it's really tarnished, but I like this pearl one. Um, it was one of those, um, you, you get the pearl out of the clam type of thing. This was my grandmother's. So that's why this one is in such nice shape. And this was when we went to Disney the very first time. And that's an autism puzzle piece. And there's another pearl. So, but the actual, this actual thing, like I said, it's a bracelet. Um, I was thinking of using it somehow but I'm not sure how so all right this is where I'm gonna pause um I definitely want more fun fluffy stuff in here I just don't know where or how like maybe my favorite coffee stickers I don't know I'm gonna figure it out though well if you liked this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know if uh, you're feeling pretty crafty and have made any of these tidbits for yourself. If you've done anything with charms, um, I definitely want to make some paperclip charms for myself and that I just have to go to the store and get some supplies. So again, thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.